My baby rested. He yeah. needed a back break with his ear. And, you know, this makes him tired because he's like the Energizer Bunny. But when you sick on top of it, you don't feel good. Makes well, it worse. Well, I feel. Yeah. I know you feel better because you rested. Mama told him he needed to go rest. And he listened. Oh, you're going to be cleaning the fish. Oh, you ain't even know, did you? I didn't know what you was going to do. No wonder he wants me sitting right here. <laughs> 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 so I can reap the benefits of fish. Hold on, I can't. I'm gonna put these glasses on and see if I can see y'all's comments. I see good morning. I see Monique. I see Jordan. Yes, I do. Woo. I gotta go get a piece of wood. This is here. Jimmy G. That ain't cutting it. Well, the fish is bigger than this platform, so I'm gonna go get a piece of wood. Well, that's your fault. Use that big piece of bait. <laughs> All right, if you want to, bring me the notepad back. That's... If I feel like it. If you feel like it. It's plugged in. You don't have to bring the cable. It's 100%. Hey, y'all. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. And y'all watch how long it takes him. He'll probably clean every one of them. Hey, hey, hey. Good thing we got some Ziploc bags. <laughs> now I feel like little mosquitoes is flying on me. Y'all won't have to excuse me for scratching my head, but I don't like bugs. Good morning, Monique. Well, y'all, they called me this morning. Well, I know I was on my channel when I said it, but we pretty much got the same followers anyway. Um... They called me this morning and scheduled my MRI for Friday morning at 8, so we'll get that done. And that's the day my leave runs out, Friday. <laughs> so I carried them a piece of paper to work and told them that uh, I had to be out until after they did the MRI. And I went back and had the doctor's confrontation about the MRI, and then we would go from there. But I feel like I'm going to be able to go on back to work. My shoulder is doing real good. My, I mean, I can't do everything with my shoulder now. It's gonna be basically like my knee. It's it's gonna take about a year for me to get where I can, you know, I can move it. I can move it out, I can move it up. I can put it over my head, but <laughs> it don't always feel good. Sorry for the face, but it don't always feel good. But they got me doing all kind of exercises now. And, and my arm, I know it's, it's well on its way. It's doing good. It was a success. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to try not to, Monique. I have overdone it some, but I mean, sometimes things has to be done. And y'all, Blue was so sweet when she, when she was here. She was Right before she got here, she said, Now, Miss Tammy, I'll help you do anything that you need doing at your house. She said, uh, I can sweep the floor, I can mop, I can do anything you need me to do. I'll help you. <laughs> All right. I said, um, well, I don't, I don't really need you to do anything. She said her mama had the surgery, so she knows how it is. I said, my sister, she's, she's, been there and she's took care of me and she's pretty much done you know everything that needed to be done i said and the rest of it i'm i'm not really worried about <laughs> so, but that was sweet of her to offer it really was i didn't match my number in quick enough did you show them the whole thing Ooh. <laughs> that was a big old fish i did not I mean, they were to give you, I told them that was cooler kit full. It's with them big old, big old egg glue, long, long white cooler kits, and it's slap full. But that was sweet. Um, 
blue to offer to do that. I mean. All right, Angie in the Bahamas, good. Oh, you can't see it good, Christopher? They... Well, I can see it pretty good, but you know, who am I? I'm sitting right here in the boat. But I... I am enjoying my time with him, Becca, and... Somebody retracted Becca's statement, and that don't... I don't know, I'm getting lost here. Let me get this pad on so I can keep y'all all straight on. <laughs> I can see what's going on. So I can see what's going on better. Hey, now, 150 pounds? Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Down, boy, down. Okay. I got the sound off now. You know, me and Grandma has a lot in common. <laughs> we started with our volume on. and everything, but you ain't big to be getting on my arm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out what happened, y'all. I'm looking. Let's see. Let's see. I got to skip my ad. Let me go. I mean, quit that, internet. Let me go back here and see what happened here. I think I was in the process of telling Elizabeth good morning and tell Miss Holly good morning when my brain just stopped because I saw something deleted and I wanted to go back to see. See, I can't hit it. Okay. There's a new JTR and it's Teresa. Woo, baby. Ain't nothing like an electric knife falling to scare you. But I know my baby ain't gonna hurt me. It's just got, it's just got blood all over it. Ooh. There goes my faces again, y'all. <laughs> Where's y'all chat at? You know up here. Oh. Aww. Oh, she deleted her own comment. Oh, well, I guess that can help. <laughs> Thank you, Beardy Granny. Now I don't have to go look. Let me get caught back up with y'all. <laughs> I like that. All right. Okay. You know, I had to retract one of my comments the other day. I put on there. I don't remember what it was. But I put it on there. And I don't even remember why I retracted it, but I said, mm-mm, I need to take that off. <laughs> but I don't remember what it was now. So that I can understand, too. Video finally got clear. Oh, okay, Christine, I'm glad. We are outside. In the trees. That boy, he can bring some fish now. I'm telling y'all, that cooler is slap full. A big old catfish. Oh, and let me tell y'all how nice and friendly the people on the Oconee River are down here in East Dublin. There was a man and his son. They were actually sitting at the spot yesterday where we wanted fish. But we, 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 we made adjustments. We just went on, you know, cause that's just how Southern folks do down here. You respect the fishermen. Our fisherwoman, look, y'all see that? You moved it too fast. But anyway, I was sitting up there and Stephen and Bentley had gone to bait the hooks up and I was sitting up there fishing. Or, you know, just messing around. Oh, is that what it is? What is it? Yeah, but we're trying to get the fish in. Camera's got your head cut 
I don't think we can have both. Danny says we got Stephen's head cut off. Well, I realize that, but we're trying to show y'all the fish. I don't know that we can have Stephen's head and the fish, but I'm gonna see. Maybe we can. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a hair more. Yeah, y'all need to see Stephen's pretty head with his handsome head. Yeah, that's better, I guess. I forgot what I was saying. It probably wasn't important anyway. Hey, Miss Angela. Y'all, I can see this better, so. Y'all pray for Grandma Helen. She's, she just not feeling the best this morning. And it's her nerves. I told her to, I told her that stress would dehydrator that she needed to drink more she needed to eat a little more but they just a lot of things going on that's not going her way right now like her computers and all that stuff and then we went out there to Williams and Lily's yesterday look at that hope y'all ready for he didn't downsize that fish <laughs> hey that beats the heck out of nailing them to a tree and trying to skin them but that's how grandma she cleans her catfish or how she used to do it, nail them to a tree. Look at him, he is big. That's why Stephen had to have a bigger piece of wood. But anyway, between our computers and then the video yesterday of Miss Lily, I mean, it was the Lord's will for us to go out there. I know it was. And um, her other son, Clinton, that um, has got cancer. I mean, cancer real bad. William went and got him yesterday. He called William and asked William would he come get him and let him come see his mama because his sons, his sons didn't want to take him because they wanted to remember the grandma like she was. And his wife, she, she, she wasn't, you know, where she could take him. So William went and got him and he got to go see Miss Lily. But, um, Excuse me, Danny wants me. Look at Chloe, they got trapped. Chloe, get your butt back up that hill. <laughs> go. No, go. Go back. Go to Daddy. Go. Go right there where she can see you standing and she'll walk to back up to you. Go. Go to Daddy. <laughs> Lord, she got halfway down the embankment on a brick on. and there ain't another brick to get on. <laughs> But anyway, that visit took a lot out of Grandma, too. Grandma loves Miss Lily. She really does a lot. And Miss Lily loves her. And Grandma went to see Miss Lily. I mean, you know, she, even when she was well, she went to see her. She, you know, she done more than just say I love you. She showed her. And Lily done the same with Helen. Lily would get them to take her out to Miss Helen's house. And, you know. It's just a sad thing. Look at that big old filet right there now. I bet Yankee Daddy would like to have him one of them. <laughs> oh. But, um, yeah, that's took a lot out of her. I realize what's going on with her, but she don't really realize what's going on with her. But Put that right in my face. Did you? Bless your heart. Well, at least it won't hurt your ear. You see it on your stomach, but it won't hurt your ear. Aww. Hey, he's knocking out them fish now. I told y'all it wasn't gonna take him long. All right, let me look at the chat here a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm with y'all, but I'm looking down at this right here, so. Yeah, Blue, that was sad. Oh. Hey, Greg. Hey, Becca. Hey, Brian. Hey, Mardell. Hey, Leanne. Hey, Mail Lady. I hope you're feeling better, Mail Lady. Aw, Tammy Jean. Marsha. Marsha, you don't have to worry about Grandma. Grandma is at home by herself, but we've just talked to her. <clears throat> Grandma's fine. She's just 
a little down and out. Her energy level. She needs me to come by there. And but if you do, don't scare. And we have to go. We go to the house twice a day and check on the animals. So we'll be checking on Grandma. We checked on her this morning. Y'all don't. I mean, y'all can be concerned and pray for Grandma, but you don't have to worry about Grandma because Grandma's being taken care of. Her and Danny's been on the phone about 30 minutes this morning. Tell Stephen I said he's cooking with oil. <laughs> Fish. Yes, Becca, he gonna cook some today. Hey, and you see them fish cuts he's throwing back in the river? Do you know what that means right here tonight? Fish on! Because <laughs> they going to come to them. <laughs> How is the weather today? Looks nice and warm. It is. It's really nice, Elizabeth, right now. And not, not too warm right now. I'm having to squint a little bit. I didn't bring my sunglasses down here. But see that big one? But I wouldn't have been able to read. Oh. I seen the whole cooler full. It's good to see all y'all in here. Yes. Hey, Miss Gladys. Leanne. Jenny. Blue says, heck yeah. Oh, no, we don't want to hear that, Marcia. She said gators will love it. Yeah. yeah. And they some out here, so, you know, you just kind of had to watch for a gator. <laughs> I don't think, Blue, he actually did because his record is so large until it wouldn't have even benefited him to weigh these. He's estimating 150 pounds, but I guarantee you there's 150 pounds in that cooler. He's, he's probably under the li uh, weight limit as far as his video title. My daddy would fry the backbones. If we filleted the catfish. My husband th thought some, threw some in the swamp once, and daddy about had a fit. Oh. No, it ain't too late. The backbone's right there. Yeah. It ain't I, got nothing on it. But. Hey, you uh, you can, Miss Gladys. I can answer for him. Miss Gladys wants to know if she can come over and have some fish. <laughs> come on over. I got them clean. I'm cleaning them right now. Uh-oh. I'm going to keep right on till it gets me. That night went in the floor. Hey, it ain't like it's going to get dirty or nothing. I mean, hurt it. It is fish we're cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing about it is you keep dropping a knife and he's got on flip flops. Not too cool. <laughs> All right, let's see what y'all say. Here's M and T. Wilkes County boy. Good afternoon, Wilkes County boy. It's fishing to be afternoon, ain't it? Miss Carolyn, good morning. Yeah, we have we have a lot of reasons to go home every day. We have to we have to check on the babies. We have to check on the new babies to be. Make sure grandma's all right and she she's all right. She just needs to do a little better. Slow down like the rest of us. She needs a good piggyback ride. Mm -hmm. That's what she needs. Miss Thelma says she has a salad for lunch and it would be good with fish. Yes, it would. And I have to check the mail every day, make sure I ain't got no bottles that come in yet, because they some coming. And you know, make sure we hadn't won the publisher's clearinghouse or something. I mean, you know, there's reasons to go home. <laughs> 
Just kidding. About the purpose is clear now. There was a gator watching Danny last night. I wouldn't doubt that, Miss Sandra. I wouldn't doubt that. That's why we try to keep the dogs in the house, cause look, I don't want my puppies to become gator bait. Hey, Tammy Jean. Hey, y'all, I'm about to figure out from, from getting these Bible addresses and stuff, I'm actually about to figure out uh, some of you names better. Yes, Willa, that is a lot of fish. It is. I don't know how good it is, but I actually have a electric knife up there in the camper that came with the camper. They were so nice to leave it in there. Y'all, my thing's showing 164 watching and 23 likes. Oh, come on. We need some more likes. Y'all know y'all like watching Stephen clean them big old fish. That was a lot of effort in getting them fish. <laughs> that boy is a fish cleaner from way back. Yes, he is, Brian. <laughs> see, I can, see, I can see this. <laughs> oh. Hey everybody. Uh-huh. Hey to everybody this morning. Thank you, Wilkes County Boy, for your thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. <laughs> I'm gonna need another bath after this. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get too many baths down here at the River Life. Oh. The gelatin's in the floor. Uh, hold on, I'll help you with that. Excuse me a minute. Got it. Gelatin's in the river. They just happen to be a big old leaf laying there. It helped me out. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Chris. Uh-huh. How many fish did you catch last night? Oh, Lord. Eleven. Eleven. And we caught several little ones. But well, these make big, uh... Yeah. Those are the ones that they, they caught eleven of. Big fish. Hey, it, had, it started out a little slow, but it has been a very successful fish trip. <laughs> And it's been fun and adventurous. And we got to share it with Blue, one of our YouTube watchers. I mean, and y'all, y'all, y'all need to meet Blue. Blue, Blue's a trip. She fit right in with us down here. I'm telling you. Of course, she. I don't even like talking on the telephone, and I, I enjoy talking to Blue. Tell Stephen, me and Curtis is on our way. We hungry. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all come on. Y'all, y'all make it where you can get here uh, a little later this afternoon instead of like right this minute. <laughs> but come on. on <laughs> Unless you just want to stay a while because uh, the they're not close to being ready yet. <laughs> but you can sure come hang out. Hi, Miss Tammy, and hi, Stephen. Please also, Teddy Hart's going to see a very, very sick friend in his medical advance cause. Oh, I'm so sorry, Cindy. I will, I will pray for that because that was, that was um, very, very rough yesterday. It was. So I feel for you. And y'all, that's why I'm going to go on in and 
I'm gonna go with on and say this because it's just me, but man, that's why you tell people every day that you love them, and, and if you mean it, they'll know you mean it, and you show them, not just the words, but you show them that you love them too. That's what counts the most, because look, once those people are, are, on, are on morphine, and you know, the Lord's getting ready to take them home, now it's, it's too late then, I mean, Tell them you love them while you still go get a banana split. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm trying to say. Thank you, baby. You, uh, boy, my, I didn't have my mama that long. I didn't even know a whole lot about life when my mama was still living. But I knew that I loved the Lord, and I knew I wanted her to be with the Lord. I knew that. But look, I showed my daddy. I, I told him. I called him almost every day of his life. If it wasn't nothing but to say, hey, Daddy, I love you, and how you doing? And Danny told me, he said, you aggravate your daddy to death calling him every day. I said, it don't aggravate him. I said, he's bad, I do, and I'm gonna do it if I don't say nothing but I love you. And I'm talking about when he wasn't even sick either. I'd go to where he worked, and I'd take him some uh, chocolate yogurt. Like, we had a yogurt shop back then. We was uptown. We had a yogurt shop, and it was so good. And I loved the chocolate yogurt. It's that real smooth yogurt. And I'd go get me and him a cup of that yogurt, and I'd take it out there to the VA. And uh, he worked in the... He was in nursing until he got cancer, and then he had to go to housekeeping because he couldn't nurse after he got cancer. So he went to housekeeping, and he loved it down there in his little storage area. And uh, I'd carry him yogurt down there. And uh, we'd, uh, I'd request the song One Day at a Time and Daddy's Hands for him. That was our two songs. And um, we'd eat our yogurt and then I'd go back to work. Oh, there's another big old piece. All right, Brian, that was yours. <laughs> Curtis, you'll have one in a minute. That's right, Miss Timmy. My dad lived with me 22 years and he passed away suddenly of cancer 16 months ago after my granddaughter passed away. Bless your heart, I'm telling you. People people just don't never know. You can't look at somebody and tell what they've been through or what they're going through, but it's just real important to let people know that you love them while they're alive. And I try to go to the cemetery and I try to make sure that Danny's daddy and my mom and daddy have flowers if not twice a year, at least once a year. But you know what? I gave my daddy his roses while he was living. I would order him live roses every now and then, and I'd send them to him at work. And I'm sure those men out there at the VA wanted to know who his girlfriend was, but it wasn't a girlfriend, it was me. And then uh, he said, baby, those roses just don't last that long. I said, okay, I know what to do then. So I fixed him up then. I ordered him a big old bouquet of 24 yellow silk roses. <laughs> I would give, I would buy him red ones and yellow ones. But, and I gave them to him. And he said, now that's what I like. He said, I can keep them. And, and he kept them. But my daddy had no doubt that I loved him. He knew I did. Now my mama knew I loved her too. I was just a lot younger. We've been to have fish for a long time. We sure are. And I couldn't, uh, I didn't have no money to buy no roses when my mama was sick. <laughs> I was just a little girl. <laughs> my mom was doing fine after she got a, a stint put in her heart. Three hours later, they were calling me to tell me she had passed away. The stint collapsed. But my mom and daddy and my granddaughter. Lord have mercy. I hate that, Leanne. I do. Good day. Tammy, Stephen, Danny, and Chad. Okay. Yeah, Bent Bent's here, but he's still up there in the camper. That boy loves his game in the camper. But he does come out and go fishing with us. <laughs> oh, 
Y'all, this is a lot of fish. I mean, a lot of fish, a lot of good goods. <laughs> but a lot of good come out of this. Uh, yeah. Yes, we had fun. Bye, Loretta. You have a good day. I just see somebody telling you bye. Shirley Nash. Bye, Loretta. Yeah. Hey, Miss Shirley. Oh, now Shirley's saying she means hello, Loretta. Well, hello or goodbye. Whichever one you're doing, Loretta. My mouth was watering thinking of those fried up. Yeah, Miss Flip Flop, they're going to be good. Hey, thank you, Sunshine. Yeah, Stephen caught a bunch of fish. Well, Stephen and Bentley. Bentley helped. And Cool Hand Luke helped, too. Some of those are from Cool Hand Luke. The cool Hand Luke, he had to go to work. Hey, you, you know what he's doing? He's cleaning his fish, and he is gonna cook some, but he's emptying out this big old white igloo cooler so we can put some more fish in it. See? There's more than one reason to clean these fish. Plus five bags of ice is getting high. Yeah, because I bought three the other day. I did my part. I bought three bags. Then they had to go back and get five bags. My part was little, wasn't it? <laughs> I bought two cups of worms. No, excuse me, four cups of worms. We still have one and a half left. And I bought three bags of ice. So I did my part, almost. <laughs> look how easy he makes that look, y'all. Bentley was a hard worker. Yes, he was a hard worker, and he helped him and his little white hoodie. <laughs> LL Cool J. Yep, that's what you was calling him. I didn't actually know that he was gonna clean the fish right here. You know, if he's, if he's already done that, that might be one of the gators hanging around here, hadn't it? The gators! Ooh, give me some fish fluid. Why? <laughs> hey, I don't care. Gotta Out take a bath. Back road. Gotta take a bath anyway. Yeah, sing us a song. Down on the holler. Get us in the mood for Friday night. Lose and Saturday night. That'll be all right. Nah, Danny, he ain't resting right now, y'all. Dixieland nah. Look at him, girl. Woo! What are you doing? Oh. Woo! Oh! He's a big old fish. Oh, I can see him real good on this notepad. <laughs> just, just not looking up at y'all much, am I? I can hold it right here. I'll be looking both ways. Oh, that, oh, no. that bothers my shoulder. Not necessarily. Daddy asked about the stand, but I told him. Uh, no, nah, this right here is good. I remember the day. Oh, oh Mardell said. Told Bearded Granny had turtle soup once. Good morning, Myra. Trucy, good morning. Not yet, Miss Trucy. Uh-oh. See, I pulled up that black square trying to look at something. But I didn't hide nobody that time. Got the go for now. Y'all have fun. Have a great day. All right, Miss Brenda. Well, you can finish watching it later. Cause y'all know later hell. How about my coffee show still ain't got ads on it? It happened. Mean, that's the third time I done that. They ain't making a drop of money cause I like it. <clears throat> I ain't putting ads on it. Well people 
Maybe people will go back and look at it again. <clears throat> Why don't you save the heads and such for bait? Hmm. That's from Miss Holly Cooper. I don't think we have enough coolers to save all that stuff, Miss Holly. We just baiting the gators. But you got a good point there. <clears throat> Uh, Leanne says she always has our videos playing over and over and over again. I do that too, Leanne. Miss Gladys told Blue she sure wish she could come. I remember the day last time All right, Miss Brenda, we'll see you later. Hey, Jody. Jody says good morning. That's the J O capital D E E Jody. <laughs> we got two Jody. Well, we got at least two Jody. Y'all hear Chris up there on the tractor this morning? I don't know what he's doing. Tammy, six of my folks fish through the ice in Michigan. Wow, Miss Loretta. I saw that on TV one time. It looks like fun, but it sure looks cool. Oh, Elizabeth told Miss Holly Hay and sent her a bunch of kisses. Trucy says she knows before she can get on your video, she has to watch two ads. Aww. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Miss Holly. This is a hunk of, this thing's like a loaf of light bread. <clears throat> That's a big old piece. Headed to the grocery store before it rains. I hear you, Marsha. And I feel for you, too. If you get very much, you better have a big wallet. Hey, Elizabeth. I see my kissy face. Thank you. <sighs> hey, y'all, I'm helping. I, I just thought about this. I'm helping Blue pray about an unspoken prayer request. Y'all want to help me and Blue pray about that unspoken prayer request. Uh, God knows all these unspoken requests, and he, uh, he'll do his will in it, I guarantee you that. I'm telling you, this is huge. Yeah, Miss Loretta Stevens been in the paper. Well, Danny and his brother Tony and... Uh, Clay, Tony's oldest son, they were in the paper catching fish. And Stephen's been in the paper catching fish. I still got the article somewhere where he caught all those records down here. Aww. And people say big catfish ain't good to eat. I don't know where they get that from. Yeah, when you fillet them up, them jokers are good. This is the trick. You got to fillet the fillet. Because they are they are about that thick. You, you fillet the fillet. Yeah, and then you fry them things up. And then it's Ooh, like, they good. Then it's like what Blue done when she pulled up. <laughs> she jumped out of that car. She said, hey, y'all. I can't remember exactly how she said it. She ran up to she me. She ran up to Stephen and hugged him and grabbed <laughs> that bicep. 
I was like, look at it. all the way down. She said, I just want to touch these things. I didn't know if I had to take <laughs> off running or what. Oh. So, Myra, wait, Dora. Dora and Thelma and Blue has felt them biceps. <laughs> I don't think Thelma actually did. Thelma didn't feel, well, she hugged you. Oh, she didn't feel your biceps? All right, well, I'm sorry. Uh, Dora and Blue did, and Miss Thelma hugged him. Well, Miss Thelma wasn't so excited about your biceps, I don't reckon. She just wanted to dance with you. I wish I was close enough to show up for the fish fry. I hear you, sunshine. Uh, Anna, I saw your question a while ago. Um, uh, Grandma come down here for just a little bit one day. But um, she's been busy, y'all. She's been busy. And what, baby? Grandma come yesterday. Oh, Danny says she come yesterday. I had to go to therapy yesterday, y'all. I don't see everything going on. Oh, Blue said you're going to have to quit taking off that shirt. Ha, ha. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Said, um... The late, some of the ladies probably went crazy when you took your shirt off on the, on the video. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll say it so you'll remember. You remember the person said that you was being disrespectful because you took your shirt off? And I said, it is okay to take your shirt off when you're on the river. Hey, you, you better not come to Georgia and go to the river. You'll see all kind of people out here talking about. You, you might not even want to go in a convenience store or the grocery store. Hey, baby, <laughs> bring me some more of them tater chips when you come, all right? <laughs> oh, male lady's going to bring one more, One more right? Mountain Dew, too, while you at it, baby. Come on out here now. I'm ready to go. Hey, male lady, there's one thing about it. For sure, you are close enough to come. <laughs> Whoa! I dropped him. That fish trying to get away. But Stephen got him. That belly cracked me up, <laughs> said Elizabeth. <laughs> I've been there to do that my whole life. I don't know why. I mean, he can suck it in, he can poke it out. <laughs> I don't know. And I don't know who he got all that from, to tell you the truth. I don't remember ever having anybody that entertaining in my family. My mama's baby brother, Freddie, he, um, he did carry around a picture of the old camel off the cig camel cigarette pack. And he would pull it out of his wallet. He said, you want to see a picture of my daughter? And <laughs> he's pulling that out. He got me with that the first time he done it. I was a lot, lot younger. But Uncle Freddie used to do that. In fact, I wonder if he still got that picture of that camel in his wallet. He was the jokester in my mama's family. Anna from Texas says she would take her shirt off too if she was a man with all this heat and the humidity. I mean, I got catfish fillets everywhere. He does. He is still filleting. Of course, y'all know that. Y'all watching. Look how pretty that fillet is. Oh, I got a little delayed picture here. Uh, yeah. Excuse I get, me. Certainly. I get to look at it. Five second rule. <clears throat> 
Hey, Luna Bat. Yeah, I know down here the videos are a little different. I mean, we just blessed to be sitting right here and it, it even working. Yeah, Sherry, it's okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna stay away from the gators, and I do keep the puppies inside, uh, unless we right out here with them. Cause uh, look, I don't want my puppies to be gator bait. Oh, and Anna, I done brought up your subject twice, and I still have not answered your question. You asked me how long were we going to be on the river. I know we're going to probably be here till Friday. I don't know after that, because they're going to have a packed weekend down here. And I I don't like a thousand people somewhere. See that big old flame where I'm at? And I'm telling you. That, this filet now uh, it goes right down the backbone you just right down the cat beach. right down it. and it gets all the meat off i mean it, it does goodbye i'm sure you could like boil all that and get a little more out of it but we doing them we doing them right well maybe it will bearded granny but uh it don't much matter but you're right by the time Time all them boats getting here and go There I have that mess down yonder at the Oconee River Bridge. And we just close to the interstate bridge. Oh, and all little trips to even learn how to clean your feet. That I can answer. Mystery man, uh oh, the pad's buffing, but the thing. Mystery man can cut up any kind of meat, ground up any kind of meat. I mean, he can cube steak, he can stuff sausage, he can mix sausage up to be stuffed. He can, he can do it all. He is really good at that. He can cut up a chicken. I mean, if he got a sharp knife, it don't take no time. Look at that, big old filet. All right, we got a bunch of them. Four hours from East Dublin. We might have, have to have a road trip this summer. <laughs> I hear you, Julie. Hey, y'all, I did talk to Dublin. Her sister is doing some better, but she still needs prayer. So y'all continue to pray for her. And I want y'all to continue to pray for my doctor. We call her Dr. C. I can't pronounce her name properly, but it's Dr. Chickapaw or something like that. I can't say it right, but everybody, but everybody can say Dr. C. She, um... She's really sick in the hospital, and she's bleeding internal, and they can't find out where it's at. So she needs a lot of prayers, and the doctors need guidance in being able to figure this situation out. So I know we got some good doctors, and they can, but it's time to <sighs> find out what the problem is. Pain in oh, no. Well, I mean, you won't even be able to hardly walk through the vehicles and the campers, much less uh, park. <clears throat> and I just like to be at home during that time or be somewhere where the crowd is, there's enough room that the crowd don't matter. They don't have to worry about down here on holidays. They fill it up. never knew what a fish fillet was until I was married and buying my own groceries. We always fried fish with bones and 
when I was growing up. That's Miss Linda Howler. Oh, uh, yes, Tracy. When kids are out of school, they, they are. They do come down more, a little more often. They do. <clears throat> you know, they got to get the six flags and the um, Walt Disney and they got to get all that out of their system and then they come to the river. <laughs> it don't cost very much to come down here except for ice and drinks and gas, a little bit of oil, a <laughs> little bit of food. <laughs> Yeah, Leanne. I love uh, tails, too. I sure do. Uh, Miss Tammy Beck, it's, it's the same. Uh, she's just still hanging on. The Lord still got her here for a reason. But thank you for asking. You know that oh, milk drinking out of the jug granddaughter wants to go? <laughs> <laughs> Cave the sides in. Tammy Jean says she lives on the river, so she gets to see it every day. She's blessed. That's right. so pretty here and peaceful it really is i guess i could quit leaning over since i'm not reading it uh oh he's he's getting there don't feel we got some room we got some room in the cooler now oh you still have plenty of them but you getting there he got a string ain't he Some nasty looking things, but they are fun to catch and fun to eat. <laughs> Excuse me. From California. I know it'll be at least another week. Well, I have to go back to the doctor. Not another week. But it might not be much longer than that. All right, Cindy, you have a, a blessed day, Shug. Good morning, Miss Deanne. Okay, we'll sure be praying for your daughter, Miss Deanne.
thank you, Blue. That's a sweet comment. And I'm not just saying because we don't live either. <laughs> all I told you when you was here. You're welcome, Miss Deanne. That's what we're here for. That's a very important part of this. I see at least one more. I don't have any in there, but. <laughs> hey, that's what Blue thought too, but look. Look at that big one. That's a big one. He's having to strain to hold him. Of course, he might be getting tired too, you reckon? Yeah, Blue, you know, they say cameras make you look bigger, but look. Well, ain't nothing wrong with the way Blue looks. And I'm sure, Sunshine, there wouldn't be nothing wrong with the way you look either. Dina's in there? Good morning, Dina. I didn't see you say nothing. I missed you. Well, I missed your comment, but if you in here, Dana, good morning. Oh, that's a Deanna. That might be why I missed you. <laughs> Look at Stephen back there. careful now you get you getting close to the end we don't want you to is your knives wearing out that's too thick for the blade to go through oh that's a fatty <laughs> now that's a fatty <laughs> that's a fatty fish Hey, I wish, um, man, it's been complicated. I wish we had been able to get all them hits that we got in, because, I mean, they were bending those rods, but they just wasn't, the hook wasn't getting set good. But Blue got to see those rods bend over. keep leaning back and setting up, don't I? But that's just the way it is. Well, the bigger they are, the more complicated they are. French fries and hush puppies, sometimes slaw, but I've never really been a slaw maker, so. Boy, Danny's daddy could make some of the best slaw. 
slaw and salad. Now, Mr. Marvin believed in eating slaw and salad. And Miss Helen can make real good slaw. My baby's having difficulty with this fish. <laughs> Can't hardly pick him up. Yeah, it's like he it's just huge. And he's cut in half. It's a big one. Oh, y'all, and Stephen had one that, or Bentley did, that just popped the line. I mean, he was reeling and reeling and reeling, and then all of a sudden, he popped that line, took the tackle and everything. <laughs> Yes, Slim, we had been praying for the fires, too. Uh, I'd kind of like to know how that turned out. I'm sure they're probably still burning, but... Seventy wildfires going. Wow. Yes, Miss Teresa, we catch more fish at night. That's why I'm late for my coffee sugar. Stay yeah, because you stay out half the night. Yes, ma'am, we do, Miss Loretta. Sorry, I got enthused looking down at the comments, y'all. But I love y'all. I'm just not looking at you. I'm looking at your comments. And besides, I can see the picture better in this thing. That's why I didn't want to bring the Yeah. Because Stephen knew I wouldn't be looking at y'all. I'd be looking at this. Let's see. But I'm right here with you and I'm talking to you. I'm just not looking at you. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Miss Jody. I see you in here. <clears throat> Miss Jody is from East Dublin. She's our neighbor, and she's a very dear friend of mine and a member of our church. We have a good time together. And she asked for our information so she could watch what we were doing. Good morning, Miss Rita. Luna Beck, tell Stephen I'll drive his Corvette while he's on vacation. <laughs> Come on with it. He let you. And he's got three little faces grinning. You can see every tooth in their mouth. Yeah. Did they sling that on you? Uh-uh. Went somewhere. Nope, I don't know. I didn't feel nothing. Of course, it don't matter. Hey, we we out here together for this mission. I just got the easy part. I get to talk to our YouTube family. 
Hey, Dave and Cher, I'm sure y'all behind the scenes there. And everybody else that's behind the scenes, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all watching. We appreciate y'all hanging with us. Utah and Colorado is getting smoke from Canada. Mm. Y'all just all be careful and try to stay safe. And <coughs> Slim, we pray in a hedge of protection around your place. <laughs> yeah, Julie. These are big old fish fillets. Of course, he's gonna he's gonna cut them up some more. He's just getting them clean right now, so we can cut them up some more and wash them. Yeah, they just big old fish. Yeah, we can't um don't want to cook that bigger fillet at one time. <laughs> Hey, Miss Angela. Mm. That is one big fish. That's right, Miss Night Wolf. It sure is. Gladys, you need to have the phone next to you all the time. Of course, you might have to turn the ringer off if you want to take a nap. We're getting down to the bottom of the fish, y'all. I'm glad he saved that one for the bottom. I don't know if it's the exact last one, but... That one slowed him down a little bit. They want to know how you feel, Monique. <laughs> hey, you want some fish eggs? We got them too. Oh, that one had eggs? Yeah. I like fish eggs. One did have eggs. I remember when my mama used to cook fish eggs. I used to like them rolling around in my mouth, them little beans. Oh, I got you, Miss Gladys. That's a little kind of hard to do, ain't it? Mother Earth, I understand. I went back to sleep too. And Stephen, he went back and got him a little nap. He, it's hard to get him down, but I'm telling you now. He's getting tired. Oh, he did have another one. Look at the bear. He had another Yeah, I don't know if uh, if Williams got to watch now or not. They they pretty much got their hands full right now, Night Wolf. But that's nice of you to tell him, hey, in case he is watching. He might could be watching and just not commenting.
Well, it didn't take you but a minute to get in that one. Luna, I, I hear y'all talking about you getting stuck in the car. Aw, oh, you could get in and out of Stephen's car. Miss Gladys says you need a cup of coffee about now. Well, I got my coffee in my cup. I don't even think I've drank a swallow of it. This is my uh, Mother's Day cup that Stephen and Bentley got me. Oh, he's digging in the bottom. He's got at least one more. I see it. I'm glad you said coffee. That reminded me I had mine. Oh, man. Is that the last one? Woo! It's a big old joker, too. If I did the math correctly, 150 pounds of catfish would be about $900. You are probably right, Mardell. Shirley Nash says, Luna, you just fall in the Corvette and roll out of it. Off to get my iron infusion. Y'all have a blessed day. Okay, Miss Flip Flop. You have a blessed day too. He's about to get finished with them. See the boat's leaning downhill, so it's making this fish like I'm fighting the fish the whole time. Yeah, because you haven't an end fight. Because you haven't hold on to him. Because he's trying to go overboard. Get rid of them because they busted open. Them things that go everywhere. That's a pile of eggs right here. Yes, it is. Something to eat good. <sighs> Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm yawning. I can't help it. Well, I'll be able to see what you call. 
when we catching them, the bigger we like them. When we cleaning them, not so much. <laughs> They are just having a ball in these conversations here, and I'm glad they entertaining themselves. <laughs> no, it was a bunch of eggs. That fish had two, two layers of eggs. All right, bye, Miss Thelma. You have a wonderful day, Shug. Y'all, if, if it works out, I'm going to try to do a video this afternoon. I don't know if it'll be here or home, but we, we'll try to do something. Blue wants to I'm not blue, but uh, Anna from Texas wants to know when I'm going home because she wants to know when I'm going to do the surprise video. Um, maybe Saturday afternoon. We'll, we'll, we'll shoot for that. I don't know if I have anything going on. I don't think I do. But I know I'll sleep in late because of the concert Friday. I like to have days when I don't have to get up early. And you know, they come in real short. <laughs> they fixing to go away. He got another big old fish. Oh, he's leaving. Oh. I turned around one time and watched it. It looked like the fish was falling off the boat. <laughs> He's probably been doing that the whole time. I know one thing, he's gonna be wore out when he finishes this. Babies give out. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to eat them later on for supper or something. That's just too much all at once. Oh some creepy crawly little bug just bit me. Um I think that was the last one. But we had this big white eagle cooler slap full of them. <laughs> hey, you, I was gonna say you probably benefit from that right there. <sighs> My baby, he has a time, don't he? Oh, it wouldn't be. Maybe this Friday night I can come and listen to Stephen, if it's all right with y'all. Miss Jody, we would love to have you. We start the concert at 7 o'clock. You are welcome to come. I'm glad I looked down and saw that message. All right, Mother Earth, you have a wonderful day and you go get you some coffee. That was a haul. Yes, it was, sunshine. That's enough fish to feed all of Dublin. It will put a dent in it, I know that. I am a silent watcher. I felt bad for Danny last night. He said no one asked him to go fishing. Tara Green. Uh -huh. Well, if you a silent watcher, 
then you know Mr. Danny pretty good, and you can change that sad face to a happy face because he's the one that owns the pontoon boat. He can always go fishing. Don't feel too sorry for him. Besides, he wanted to do a video. He knows he can go. Yeah, they are, Miss Linda. I like fish eggs, probably. Well, I hadn't ate any since I was a, a young girl, but my mama used to cook them. Danny does what he wants to. Now, that's a viewer that knows Danny Hodges. <laughs> Danny wanted to go fishing. You better believe he'd be on this boat. Well, you could sure have some, Miss Betty, if you was here. Oh, I better look back up here again. I'm sorry, y'all. We're just going to have to go live on the tablet. Well, I can see. My baby's trying to get his hands decent enough he can do something. No, Tara, don't, don't. Ah, oh, she changed her sad face to a smiley face. Yeah. yeah, Tara, he can. We glad you commenting now, but look. If Mr. Danny wanted to go fishing, he could go fishing. Not Wolf said Danny was kidding. We knew that. Yeah. All right, well, come on back here. What going on, y'all? Oh. Beautiful people. I clean enough fish for a family reunion. He clean a lot of fish, that's for I'm sure. just glad y'all was even cared to watch it. Oh, you pulled in the thing? Uh-oh, that's what you call backfire. Uh-oh, wait. You sure? You positive? I ain't always positive. Yeah, well, it worked out pretty good. I was about to say, we don't need to get close enough to hold that thing. All right, so we're fitting to show y'all how we caught these fish. And I'm going to try to go on and go where we don't lose service.
Bill Buffy. I might as well turn him off, happening. Well? Him that lost his connection. Probably. All right, I will turn him off. Instead of the tripod, I'm gonna let you film it. Oh, wow. Let me see what you're filming. All right. Where you want me to film? Just kind of just film what I'm doing. Film what you're doing. All right. Y'all, I'll try not to be too shaky. But it is me. We're gonna get up here and, and I'm gonna hold this camera with both hands. He's, he's, he's pulling in this, this line. We didn't get to see what was on it. Wasn't nothing on it. Oh, y'all didn't miss nothing then, y'all. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's a gentleman fishing. I didn't even see him on the road by him. I'll let y'all see the best part. How about that right there? I'll let y'all see the back of Stephen's head. Y'all yeah, Miss Shirley, we'll be praying for you too. No, oh, there's so many that need prayer. Okay, we're going back up to the front of the boat. If he's got one on here, we'll all know it. There's the line. Uh-oh. Might be hung happening. I got to back up because of the tree. <clears throat> He's having to work for that, y'all. It done got hung up on something. <clears throat> Don't hurt your back, baby. That's how you did it hurt his back trying to pull up a log. There you go. Dissect it. Uh. Oh, <laughs> you stuck your hand in the wrong place. Be careful. Oh, you got it undone. Nothing. Aww. No kissy. I swear it goes sometimes, y'all. It goes way more than more than other times. We're gonna have to get the water hose on the front of that boat, ain't we? Oh yeah. But we can do it. Get up there. All right, well, if, let me know if they something. Nope, wasn't nothing on that one. Hey, tree, how you doing? See the tree? See the tree? See the tree? 
see the tree. The tree is up close and personal. This is what we saw mad about fishing in the Amazon. <laughs> Wasn't it, baby? Uh-oh. We might have a situation here. There we go. That worked out pretty good. Oh, he done got back up there. I'm sorry, y'all. I was fascinated with the rod being hung up. Look, we got tree now. Tree. Let me see if I can help right here in just a little bit. Oh, it wasn't even... Oh! He had done broke that joker off. It just needed to be pushed. So far, the rods in the back's doing good. Good morning, Christopher Blake. We checking the lines to see if there's anything on them. Nope. We'll rebate them things up later. This right here will break your finger. Daddy needs to be. It'll break your finger when you steer it. Yeah. Cause it, I, it just, you done hit it several times. A bunch of times while I'm steering. Yeah. You'll have your finger out and it'll hit right there and it ain't hit it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll try to remember to tell him. Oh, my goodness. Y'all see, I hit the wrong thing, don't you? Again. Nothing on that one either. Don't worry about that, Mom. See, we got that tree limbs. Hey, Christopher Blake. I don't think I ever told you, Christopher, but I love that song that you wrote about Stephen. You are a very talented young man. Uh, no living life. We don't have to name tag the lines in Georgia, but if you put out a uh, Noodles, you're supposed to have your name and address and all on them. You don't even have to do that. Oh, you don't have to do that in here? Oh, Stephen said you don't even have to do that in Georgia. We don't even put mine if we don't do it right in here. Nothing on that one either, y'all. I'll show y'all if we got one. But he checked them early this morning. And we done got them clean, them fish clean. You welcome, Christopher Blake. So I guess if you really want to come fishing at a nice place, it would be Georgia. Cool Hand Luke found out the hard way about noodles in South Carolina. We didn't, we didn't realize all that. So I, we, we learned to be educated before we go to another state fishing again. Tree limbs is a blake, uh, a blaking. I was talking to Christopher and I wanted to say blaking. Hey y'all, Stevens camera shows 201 watching and 110 likes. That's that's pretty good, y'all. I mean, it could be a lot better, but that's pretty good. He's checking another line, y'all. Oh, baby! I got a 
No fish and you got slapped in the face. I don't like that. Uh-oh. Let's just say there will be a few limbs we won't have to worry about it when we come back next time. <laughs> One of those thumbs up is yours. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Y'all, it's getting a little warm out here now. Might be a nice day. Ouch. I hear you, Hicktown. It ain't only the little box Danny's got beside the steering wheel getting him. It's uh, the tree limb slapping him in the face, too. Well, what we are doing is out of our living room. Good thing he's tough. Yeah, this is our living room. This when you when you go in the low bottom boat, it's a it's a lot easier to do lines to put them out and check them. But we just don't never seem to be in that boat when we check, when we check them. Bless his sweet heart. That's what Leanne said. Derek Dollar sent an attachment. As Danny says, Stephen has stamina. What you looking for, sweetie? Whatever and rub my leg. Get right here. Oh. Uh, Bring in a little pretty self right here. Oh, I don't know about all that. Well, y'all, no fish this morning. Uh, is that what was in the cooler? Like all our bait was gone just then, which is that's pretty common for today because yeah. all the trash fish and turtles. Yeah. But but we'll leave these unbaited uh, all day, and we'll come about 45 minutes before dark, and we'll bait them all up, and we'll do it again. They're gonna be fish on again. Just a time or two. Yeah. Just the time. We got a line right here, but I didn't want to pull in there with that guy there. Yeah. He's pretty close to it. Yeah. Well, see, we're respectable to other we do. fishermen and fishermen. And when you pass somebody fishing like this, this is how you drive. Yeah. You go slow, where you don't spill their Mountain Dew and throw their ham sandwich in the floor. And tangle up all their lines. Yeah. Because a lot of people fish with more than one line. Because he's coming out here to, uh, he coming out here to chillax. Yeah. We don't want to add to it. That's right. <laughs> be respectful. I try to be respectful everywhere I go. Yeah, that's right. Well, look at him. Uh, thank y'all for watching. 150 pounds of catfish clean. Yeah. Hey, live. and um, Miss Jody Supernor was on there. She's subscribed now. And, oh, really? And, um, she said that she would, if it worked out for her, she would like to come to the concert Friday night if we didn't mind. So uh -huh. you, you tell Miss Jody what you think about that. Uh huh. Miss Jody better sign. She better shine up her shoes. Is all I can tell her. <laughs> that means you are more than welcome to come, Miss Jody. And if you can't get there at seven and you want to come later, they usually go to somewhere around eleven or eleven thirty. It's according to how involved Mystery Man is in it. Might go to 12. But Mystery Man feeds on the crowd. If the yeah. crowd is doing good, Mystery Man's doing good. If some of the songs is going his way, then he's doing good. <laughs> but um, we're going to go ahead and, and put his back patches on him before the concert this, <laughs> this Friday night. So he's yeah. ready. Yeah, that's right. All right, we're going to get one more breeze on our hair right quick, like that right here, and, uh, we, and we're going to sign off when we get on up here. All righty. I'm going to let a little, little breeze go through my Look, hair. Look, the little inkworm got on the charging box. He did, didn't he? You ready, Mom? I'm ready. Woo! Going to 
get a little breeze in her hair him. Bye-bye. <laughs> See y'all later.